Hey Virgo, what's up? I hope you're doing good. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Let's see guys what messages come through for you, what you need to hear right now and what's coming up. Virgo. Reverse the rules if needed, switch the cases, don't force the reading on your situation, right? We have the next full moon in Sag. Ooh, Sag, fire. <laughs> Interesting. Jupiter ruled. So let's dive in. Let's dive in, Virgo. Let's see what you need to hear. Eight of Swords. Yeah, justice came in reversed. Totally makes sense. Finding yourself in a soup, finding yourself in a position where what the fuck is happening with me right what what should i do now from where from here where am i gonna go you're finding yourself in a very conflicted position here virgo you're finding yourself trapped or simply your own thoughts are trapping you you're not trapped honey you're not trapped you're just feeling that you're trapped you have all the swords here it's too much for some of you it's too much information or for some of you it's like things are lying in front of you and you are just blindfolding and trapping yourself right for very few of you this can be an actual entrapment where we'll see where it goes right i see you've been investing too much in a situation you've been very giving six of pentacles uh, you might be in a situation where you're trying to please multiple people in your surroundings virgo uh, there is more than one person here i see you're trying to take up your responsibilities you're trying to help and please people here six of pentacles to giving energy here sun i do see the investment is somehow making you feel happy you're doing so much charity you're doing so much uh, giving work i see you're very giving and responsible but there's an inner child that needs refreshment right eight of swords is showing me that you might be neglecting that inner child that needs some refreshment that needs some fun five of pentacles from six of pentacles to five of pentacles now there's an energy that asha give too much and i'm really happy giving that you know i'm very giving i'm very supportive i'm i'm trying to do my best with my responsibilities with whatever is expected from me but what do i get out of that what 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 do i get out in return you feel abandoned you feel cold for some of you you were very happy or you were you're starting very happily that you know i'm doing my work perfectly and when it comes to getting the reward when it comes to getting the promotion when it comes to getting the you know uh, recon uh, how should i say that reciprocation yeah not reconciliation sorry reciprocation to what i'm giving reciprocation to what my effort right i'm putting in it can be in a love situation it can be in a family situation it can be a work situation what am i getting back don't know so there's there's a situation where you find yourself in a position where you're giving giving and giving and then feeling empty from within that's not a good thing you know give without thinking and only give that much which you can forget <laughs> you don't expect anything back only if it is not a contract right okay <clears throat> coming forward hanged man you're finding yourself in a situation where you're feeling stuck now you know you started very happily as i was investing and i felt that wow it's gonna take me to something beautiful right and you felt that for some of you i'm picking up that you overdid something you have over given something you're over given to somebody you love you like you cared about and you did too much and you're feeling that it's not reciprocated at all you know you're finding yourself in that soup now what should i do next things are getting delayed here honey right universe is giving you time to self introspect universe is putting you back out of the situation and forcing you to think about things hanged man is the energy where things are going to get delayed see i'm not going to deny it but it's not over it's not an end it's just that some things need a different perspective of analysis universe is giving you that time to analyze the situation from a different perspective this can surround a very controlling figure in your surroundings there's an emperor figure okay it can be boss father somebody who's masculine simply your masculine this can be your inner masculine also but i don't really feel that this is probably somebody from the outside who is very controlling very possessive somebody who loves to stay in charge and this person is adamant and lazy as fuck i'll tell you why i'm saying lazy because i don't see them it's like they can see you stuck, they can see you hanging, but they're not doing anything, right? If you're dealing with somebody who is a boss, who is a, a lover, stubborn lover as fuck, we're going to see what they want, right? I do see sun though, but it's not reciprocated. It's like, you know, you are stuck, you're feeling cold and they're watching. So I'm not getting a good thing here. 
for some of you it's like there will be a moment of realization when some things are going to be appearing different to you right it's like right now you're taking them in a very different direction very different thought process you're giving too much and then feeling abandoned and then there's a understanding here that what the fuck am i doing why am i stuck you know universe is giving you time to self-introspect to think about the situation over right and come out of this energy you're taking the charge of the situation after that and that's the wonderful thing to do you are coming out of this and you're taking over it like an emperor right i do see that you might give somebody a response like that <laughs> that's going to be very strong but anyway <clears throat> Emperor is showing me that uh, this is a stubborn figure in your surroundings which is keeping you stuck. Very controlling energy. Eight of Pentacles on the other hand, I see you getting a perspective that if it's not moving, I cannot kill my other things, right? For example, if this is a love situation you're overdoing and you feel that somebody is not reciprocating that the way they should and they're adamant as fuck. Should I just let my work suffer for that? Should I let my other things suffer for that? My hobbies, my day-to-day -day routine, my work, my dedication, my effort, my other things, my money. My God, my money. Virgo, can you let that happen? You're never going to let that happen. Eight of Pentacles, if you see somebody stuck and if you see somebody keeping you stuck, you're not doing that. You're going out, you're working, you're putting your 100% effort into other things and you're just neglect neglecting this person, avoiding. See, Emperor is sitting here and you're turning a back over them and you're just focusing on your work, your creativity, your abundance, your money, you know, and you're minting money. You know you can mint money. You're a Virgo, honey. You can do it. Emperor needs to sit it. This emperor is showing up in the center of the reading. It definitely requires clarification. What do you want? Right? We're going to see what they want. My God. Okay. You're turning Queen of Wands, babe. And if somebody is not valuing you for what you are, you are really turning this Queen of Wands. Confident, passionate, exciting, amazing. You are attracting things towards yourself. You're manifesting changes in your life. Queen of Wands upright is a magnetic personality, right? And the moment I, I've often seen in Virgo readings, whenever something hits bad, whenever something goes down, you come out of the hermit mode. You come out as this Queen of Cup, this Queen of Wands, and really you turn people crazy Virgos usually have a very magnetic personality it's like opposite sex really gets attracted to them sometimes because they have that sophistication I should say and Queen of Wands when you turn dispassionate people are going to watch right and this Emperor my god and see you're going to get communication and directly under this I see this Emperor really makes you happy so this came your lover also right or somebody who's a boss who who really sees the inner child here i see this person is adamant because of reasons i'm just going to clarify why they're so much stuck in their own ways but the moment they see you as the queen of wands my god this is going to turn them on you're going to get uh, you, you're going to get messages from this person page of wands you're going to get communication for some of you if this emperor is not reacting you guys are getting communication from other sides because you are appearing really hot Ooh, my god Virgo so I'm telling you you avoiding somebody is having a big reaction on them you avoiding somebody and turning queen of wands you're like okay I don't give a fuck to you honey you have no idea what I am and what I can do it's going to have a big reaction on this person we have the moon we talked about sat full moon <coughs> hmm Somebody is having this trouble. Somebody is having this trouble. King of Pentacles. I see this person is definitely hiding love for you. High Priestess. Love. Two of Cups. Or you are hiding love for this person because this person is not reciprocating. This person is not reciprocating right now and it's really pissing you off. You might find yourself stuck Virgo but not for a very long time because you have no idea what, what you're turning into. And this person is going to <laughs> regret if they don't reach out to you as soon as possible really because you have no idea a lot of opportunities are coming towards you you might end up in another relationship if this person never you know levels up or uh, you might find your stability somewhere else if this person 
is not leveling up i do see the situation is getting delayed but it's not that negative as you're thinking eight of swords you are thinking negatively in the situation virgo trust me the situation isn't that bad if you might feel that for a moment you might feel left out in cold you might feel that i'm doing too much but i do see that some communication is coming in and you're ending up into this beautiful state of stability my god for very few of you i see a lot of eyes at you and if if this person they need to hurry honey they need to hurry because they might lose the train i don't really see you leaving the building though i do see if this person communicates you guys can really end up reconciling or mending up things this week right so let me see why are you feeling this cold energy after you know you guys need to really nourish your inner child virgo really need to nourish your inner child you're overdoing stuff you're working very hard you're investing too much in other people you're not investing in your inner child you need to make it happy the fool see for some of you it's like you feel somebody is distant right they're not reaching out to you going with the flow yeah you're doing too much and this person is just like going with the flow is it is it that what you want thunderbolt okay this is not happening for a very long time for some of you i'm getting a vibe that somebody is trying to reach out to you or somebody was on the way to reach out to you and then suddenly something very unexpected happened and something from the past five of cups returned eight of pentacles the burden this person is going through some extreme burden here and they're patiently waiting for something to get over they're under a lot of criticism and pressure I'm getting here. Whosoever you're dealing with, Virgo, this person is under a lot of criticism and pressure, pressure right now. You might feel that they're not responding to you or they're acting very stubborn, but they're not telling you exactly what's happening with them behind the scenes. I see this person is experiencing a lot of conflict, drama and tower moments in their life. They're not telling you that. Though they are convinced that they have to take a leap of faith towards you, but I don't really feel that they're telling you this exactly. Why are they emperor here? Comparison, five of swords. They're definitely manipulating you. It's like they don't want you to know how um, terrible they're experiencing things outside behind the scenes. And they want to come up from very strong in front of you. They're, and they're totally lying. Four of cups and seven of pentacles. This person is waiting for this dust to clear. See, they have so much outside influence. Four of cups. They have so many people bugging on their head so many voices in their head so many people are trying to manipulate them and this is leading to some kind of drama and some kind of uh, this is comparison card though they might be comparing you with other people or you might be experiencing a situation where their loved ones or their people or somebody in their surroundings is trying to compare you with somebody else their choice is completely made they're this stuck in this tavern that okay this is what i want if i want virgo i want virgo they're they're quite convinced on that but honestly there are people in their surroundings i'm sorry for that there are people in their surroundings who are trying to convince and change their opinion but they're totally not listening there uh, listening to those people i see they're patiently waiting for some things to settle down they're waiting for some phases to change seven of pentacles you might feel that this is too much you're avoiding this individual but you have no idea what's happening behind the scenes and i do see they're acting very cold in front of you very uh, balanced in front of you as if no nothing is happening but i think i see that they're just hiding so much from you ago they're hiding so much from her curious letting go you are coming to this point where you're feeling that okay i will have to let this person go if nothing moves forward you're just avoiding them and you're becoming the queen of wands and then you hear the page of wands what is this conversation coming in towards virgo conversation page of wands and four of wands stability what is this change here wow understanding for some of you some apologies coming in this person wants to reach out to you and they want to tell you maybe in the near future they might do that if circumstances be they want to reach out to you and they want to apologize they want you to understand their circumstances for some of you i'm feeling that this person was hiding their real side from a very long time but they are convinced that it's you and the moment they tried taking a leap of faith towards you some kind of tower moment started taking place in their life and it just kept on continuing back to back back to back some things are happening and they're in a very fucked up situation they're waiting for the right time to talk to you you might feel that you need to let it go it's not happening but i see this person is going to reach out to you possibly if they if they find themselves in the right place because i see they're patiently nurturing something they're going to reach out to you they want you to understand what they're going through and i do see if they do that they want you to understand their silence 
They want you to understand there are some issues here. What is this Four of Wands as the final energy? The Four of Pentacles, the Burden, and the Eight of Pentacles. I see Flowering Queen of Pentacles. For some of you, Virgo, I see that this person is really acting as a miser because they don't want you to know about their burdens. Six of Swords and Eight of Pentacles. I'm also getting a vibe that this person is experiencing some financial thing in their life, some severe financial thing in their life, which they're not telling you. So be careful with that. Let's see what comes up next. I do see you moving towards very strong stability emotionally, mentally and physically. There is a potential relationship also provided this person mm, tries to work on the burden they carry. There's so much burden. I see you're convinced that you need to be careful of this energy. For some of you, I see new proposals coming in, but for time being, you're turning them down. For time being, you're turning them down, right? Because you find them very ordinary, possibly, right? What Virgo needs to hear in this situation? We have Three of Cups and Four of Swords. So news words celebrating joyful announcement like engagement, wedding, pregnancy and graduation. Time for gratitude close communities or chosen families insights that come from meditation the need to rest or take a vacation allow yourself more time before you make a decision mental exhaustion and we have get more sleep something is delayed there's something that is going to be you know worth reconciling i do see this person will try to reconcile three of cups meet with you again but i see you need time that's going to take some time and eventually we have the harrowment that is leading to some kind of partnership. I do see four of wands, higher of wands. Some higher le level of commitment can be there, but it's delayed. It, it's fucking slow. It's moving as if it's never going to happen, but it's not the case, Virgo, right? Unity with the spiritual-minded community. Ask for the divine help and trust the answers will come. Compare traditional methods with new ideas to see what works best for you. Just one message for you here, and then we're going to wind up the reading. It's already there. We have my beloved. Ooh. Though we may be physically apart, but spiritually we are always united for love, transits, space and time. Nothing is missing. This person is apart from you right now because they're going through a shit hell. But they want you to know that they love you. This is intense, isn't it? We have forgiveness. Yeah, I do see this week somebody's coming back to ask for forgiveness. This person wants you to understand their condition. And I do see they might open up a little bit, but you feel it's too much to ask for. Stop focusing on your energy on the past events. For the life is too, too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream and imagine. So come out of this energy, honey. You're creating this for yourself if you're going to stay stuck in that, right? And imagine old unwanted thoughts dissolving. My God, this is so much in concurrence. See, Eight of Swords, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities in your life. Create room for positive things. More than anything, I see your thoughts are trapping you, right, Virgo? So this is what I have for you for this week, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.